Hi there, Gary and I were just marking some mock exams and we thought we'd share with you some tips and advice that we have from our experience of marking mock exams and marking the real thing after you do them in summer. Gorilla physics! <laughs> I think one key thing for all exams is making sure you answer the question that you're asked. Now examiners use certain key words to tell you what to do. I'm going to go through a few of them now. If you're asked to state or name or just to write something down, you're not even needed to write in sentences. We're not asking for an explanation, we're just looking for one name, a couple of words, a key point, that's all. If they're asking you to complete something, then they're just giving you a table with some blank spaces. Write in those blank spaces. If you, if you do get it wrong, then don't worry, cross it out and just write it to one side. Cross out with one single line so that if you, what you've written below it is wrong or you want to cross that out, they will still mark the stuff that you've crossed out. When they say use the table or use the data, use the graph, it means your answer should be based around the stuff in that table graph or, or data. Okay, so your answer should be referring to that. Now, then it gets a bit harder when you're asked to give examples or state reasons or suggest things then they're asking you to come up with um, a certain number of reasons, a certain number of ideas about something which might not be immediately obvious. If they're asking you to describe something, then they're asking you to point out exactly how it is. They're not actually, if they're asking you to describe, asking you to explain something. They're just trying to say, tell me what it is like. But if they're asking you to explain something, then you need to say why it is like it it is. And often questions will say describe and explain and then they'll be worth two marks. So describe the trend might be, well it starts off a slow, low gradient, gets steeper. Explain might be because X, Y or Z. If it's asking you to calculate, well then do some calculations. They are looking for your maths at this point. They are looking for a numerical answer and there should probably be units on the end. Often they'll give you the units, in which case make sure your answer is in those units. There's some conversion maybe that you need to do. Calculations take a lot of practice. If there are no units though, there's probably a mark for the units, so make sure that you give a unit. If they ask you to compare, make sure you state both sides of the things or you use this one is higher than this one. This one is lower than this one. This one is like this, but this one is like this. And they are different or they are similar. Words like that. Make sure that you write compares in pairs, if that makes sense. You're always comparing one thing to another thing. If they're asking you to su suggest, then that is something where you're going to need to come up with it for yourself. It probably will not have been in the, uh, the revision guide. They're asking you to actually use your understanding to suggest an idea that hasn't been given to you in the question or hasn't been given to you in the mark in, in the sorry in the work that you've done on this. And lastly, evaluate. If they're asking you to evaluate something, you need to say how good something is. Um, what is its value? Thank you for watching Gorilla Physics. Please do like, share, and subscribe. That really helps me be more useful to more people. Also, please go ahead and check out Gorilla Chemistry and Gorilla Biology. You can expect the same sorts of things, past paper questions and videos to help you understand topics. Thanks once again for watching.